I walked into the event today, JJ, so you're carrying a very large box. Yes. Now, we know you work out, but you don't have to do that, okay? <laughs> I do the same thing my team members do. It's, I'm not beneath anybody. Yeah. But they laugh at me because they know I go to the gym. So yeah. that was my time to show Big Mike that, yeah, that's good. that that's I can handle the same amount of product that he can handle. Yeah, I agree with you. And I think you should do that more often. <laughs> now, tell me, because this is your first time here, right? My this first is your time first... here, yes. How did that happen? Um, you know, I have like a, a good amount of supporters in the industry. Uh, and I think they just put their good word into me to, for the James Beard House to get me here at Chef of Champagne. Um, and you know, Gary Duff is a big supporter of the food that I do, and he really, I think, helped push push the envelope here to get me in. Um, it's a great feeling. The, the 40 chefs that are here are all really great chefs. Leah Cohen, Terry used to be our sous chef. Uh, Steven from Calicchio and Sons, me and him went to school together. I see Grayson helping out, Rebel. I see the pastry chef from Oceana. Uh, Mike from Delicatessen, like these are all my peers and friends, so to really, really be in the same tent cooking with them is awesome. Yeah, and like you said, your first year here. Yes. Right. Must be exciting. Um, and you have a lot of supporters. Uh, Carla love... Hall was, was lauding praises on you when she was over here. What's it like to sort of cook in an event honoring her as well? Uh, I, mean, it, I mean, it's huge. You know, Carla was on Top Chef and then just kind of exploded into the industry. And I consider her like a food god. She uh, really has a voice through the chew um, and people really love what she does and she has this great perky personality that reflects in the food that she cooks so I know she lives close by the restaurant we're trying to get her up yeah. um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna ambush her today and we're gonna talk about some we're gonna talk some food talk yeah and now what are you preparing for us today uh, so I, I flew out to Schooner Bay with Schooner Bay Salmon flew me out to Vancouver to Campbell Hill oh, wow. and I got to see the way they pro like raise the salmon, process the salmon. I think it's the best salmon, like farm raised, processed. I called it um, handcrafted. Yeah. Um, so I'm doing schooner bay salmon, raw, just sliced super thin, with some grilled pickled peaches, apple, shishito, African purple basil, and some curry crunch. So curry crunch is like this um, savory sweet yeah. uh, crunch that you'll get in your mouth, so. Afro-Asian influence? Afro-Asian influence, you know that's what I do, what I yeah. stand by. I'm the voice of it, so it's great. Yeah, it's, I think that's going to be the first time that we're experiencing something like this at Chefs and Champagne. Yeah, I'm excited to see how people respond to it. One of my cooks just said, JJ, you sure they're going to be all right with this here? I was like, this is what we do, Mike. We have no choice. Yeah. So it's really a great thing, and uh, I'm, I'm super honored to be part of the James Beard family and being here. And what's next? What are you doing next? Whew, next, we, I'm on the show called The Next Great Burger. I'm the co-host of that. So that airs every Tuesday for the next six weeks at 10 o'clock on the Esquire Network. Great show. We're in search of finding an X-ray burger. Me and Owen Benjamin really had fun on that show. A new family I'm part of with Esquire Network. I'll be cooking with Kevin Gillespie in Atlanta at a gun show, August 11th and 12th. I'll be in a London from Utopia and then food and wine in Newport. And then I got an email about cooking at Blackberry Farm for the start of the year. So things are rolling in the right direction. And um, all I can do is tell everybody thank you for eating my food. And I really love the support and uh, all the joy that I'm able to do. Joseph Johnson, very exciting year ahead from the chef of the Cecil. Thank you so much for coming and chatting with me. Thank you very much, Gary. It's always a pleasure.